But as per the Valmiki Ramayana, Gautama goes, he goes uh, to take his bath and um, prior to Sandhya Vandanam. And when he goes, Indra sees that opportune moment and Indra enters the ashramam. Indra enters the ashramam as Indra. He does not enter as Gautama. However, Ahalya has so much of Pati Vratyam inside her that she can only see Gautama. However, in that moment, her power of discretion tells her that this is not your husband. But Ahalya is so taken out, taken in by Indra's just his nature, and she is so smitten that she allows that to she allows that slip to happen, and she becomes one with Indra. So as she is enjoying that, her sense of conscience also takes over, and Gautama and it's just there are multiple things happening. On one hand, Ahalya is feeling that guilt. On the other hand, she's also unable to control uh, her passion. This is this is the relatability of an epic, right? This is not the story of something that is far away out of our time. And th there are conflicts within us when one part of us knows that we're doing something wrong. There is another part of us that is not able to help ourselves. So what happens in that moment? At, this is so when you take the words dharmo rakshati rakshataha, aside from printing it behind buses and trucks, the larger purpose of that phrase is for us to understand that when you invest in a certain dharma, even at moments when your own intellect is on the fringe, when your own intellect is on the fence and is not taking you in a particular direction, that time the dharma that you have invested in will come to your rescue. In that moment, that dharma comes to Ahalya as Gautama. Because had Gautama not entered the ashramam, this would have carried on. For every minute that a woman like Ahalya is involved in this papam, the the distance that she she accrues from Paramatma increases because Gautama Maharishi is a, is a phenomenal Rishi. Ahalya too is no less. She's um, so this is again the narrative that is constructed is that a Rishi is doing all the tapas and a, and his the the Rishi Patni is just there playing a background role. Not at all the case if you look at Atriya Anusuya. Not at all the case if you look at Arundhati Vasishta. Not not at all the case if you look at Agastya Lopa Mudra. So there are so many cases where the the woman earned that tapas. In fact, uh, I've said this even for, for Lalita as well, that um, when we had spoken about Lalita Mahatripura Sundari, that when uh, Agastya is sitting in Kanchipuram, Agastya Maharshi, Agastya, what Agastya is, he has moved all of Vindya Parvatam, he has, and come down to the south, when Agastya Maharshi sat in Kanchipuram, and he asked Hayagriva to give him the Lalita Sasnamam, he begs for it. And Hayagriva hesitates and he says, is he worthy of the Sahasranamam of the mother? And then Lalita appears there. And then she says, Give it to him, Hayagriva. After all, he's Lopa Mudra's husband only. No, my Lopa Mudra's husband only. So that is the status that Rishipatni has. Rishipatni is not playing a background character. Same is the case with Ahalya. That 